Hey guys, welcome back to American Truck Sim. And uh, previous episode, well, previous episode, I did a little review on this truck and I picked up this load and I was like, you know what? Might as well go drive it and deliver it and see how it performs on the road. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna turn this mirror on, we're gonna do this. I wanna see how heavy my load. So it's 18,000 pounds backhoe loader. Um, so it's pretty light. I mean, obviously, but you are pulling with the pickup truck. So let's see how it performs. And um, yeah. So we have six hour drive. I don't know if I'm going to do all in one or if I'm going to, you know, stop and split or if I'm going to show the whole way. But uh, let's get driving this beautiful red Ram 3500 by John Ruda. And um, we're going to get inside because that's what we do. And turn this off and we're going to turn our ignition on. And it cycles through everything. Start this baby up. Let's go. Parking brake. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yep. Let's release that. Let's get out of here. Turn this off. Man, I miss this game. I don't know if OBS is showing, but as of right now, I'm getting steady 80, 83 to 70 FPS with this truck, which with mods, some of them hit and miss, some of them better than the other, others, uh, like some odds on, on my video card I'll be getting, man, 40 FPS and then I turn on different mod and, you know, I'm getting, man, 120 FPS. We can close the window so it's not so loud. But yeah, so here we're gonna stop right here, after this. I'm gonna show you guys where we're at and where we're going from. So we picked up this load last episode when I was just checking out this truck. Because uh, I don't see a lot of stuff on the internet about it. And I think a lot of a lot more people need to see this truck and use it. So we, we can go through here. Uh, but the thing is, I didn't go on 70. So I'm not sure if I want to go on 70 or if it would be more fun to go through 50 and then take 24 up. Um... <laughs> Kind of want to go through 70, but at the same time, I want to go this road. It seems like it would be more fun. So we go this 648, and this one's, ooh, 8 hours. So it's 2 hour more drive, bigger, longer drive. <sighs> what to do, what to do. Ah, screw it. Let's go this way. I think this would be more fun to drive on the 24. Uh, what if we go through here? I'm not, I don't want to know. Actually, this is faster than this on the 285. Um, no, we're going to go through 24. Let's do this. Okay. Please proceed to the highlighted route. Yes, I am proceeding to highlighted route. So let's drive this bad boy. I want to see how fast it can go on the freeway. Yeah, force feedback on this road is pretty good. There is an engine brake, just like Rams have it. I'm not sure if it sounds any different from outside. We'll try it a little bit later. You can hear it a little bit. I think. Okay, let me. I'll be right back. Okay. Parking brake engage. Yep. I tried to adjust the sound again so you guys can maybe hear. Sound cheap. Oh, he's taking pictures. Wow, good for you, buddy. Photographer. Uh, we're gonna save this just in case my driving skills are most likely gonna fly out this bit. So he also has just a car hauler mod, a trailer that came standard. But I'm I think you can find different trailers that people are making for this mod um, on Steam Workshop or just on the internet. I'm not sure. I haven't really looked in into it, but I definitely need to. There's a glitch, you can pull literally anything. I can pull a 53 foot reefer with this ram. There is a glitch to glitch it on there, but it just doesn't make no sense. Oh jeez, how fast are we going? 40 miles per hour down this thing, yeah, I need to slow down. There is a picture up there, man. Should we go grab that? I don't know when the next time I'm going to be here. Oh, 
should we? I just want to see the view. Ah, screw it, let's go get it. We're actually redirected, let's see. Oh, wow. Um, 12 hour drop. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I did go. Oh wow! Uh, man, should I just do this? Just go down this road, and just go up this, and all the way up. Since I never drove this road before, you know what? Screw it, man. It's gonna be a long drive, but what the heck? Why not? I think it's gonna be fun. Uh, we obviously been here, so I did drive in this road with the summer track before, but we never. I never drove in here, so screw it. Let's go. Please proceed to the highlighted route. If you're driving your Dodge pickup truck, this should be fun. Definitely gaining speed. This is a great f starter, <coughs> starter truck because it's only $80,000. the cinematic and it's beautiful I'm gonna take a screenshot <laughs> that might end up being a thumbnail you never know uh, that was a beautiful view and this game's getting better dude I guarantee you either Utah or Texas are gonna be really soon they have a Utah live stream going on I think either today or tomorrow which, when they do that, they usually the map pack, the DLC is about to, to hit to get released. I gr I can almost see it being released soon. So, I hope so. Actually, that would be amazing. Uh, that that would be very very amazing. Okay, come on. How long is this cutscene? Jeez. Okay, I think we've seen enough. Okay, let's go. Oh, nope, nope, not on signal. <laughs> oh my god, this thing flies. He actually, John Ruda actually updated, um, come on Mustang, dude, seriously, speed limit 25, I understand, but nobody really cares, just drive. <sighs> come on, dude. John Ruda actually updated his Fredliner, Classic, and his Peterbilt. I might do a little review, a little showcase of those mods as well, I have a lot of his mods. Sorry officer, I didn't I didn't mean to. I'm not gonna be doing 25 around here, like what the heck dude, that's insane. Give me a ticket. I'm sitting at what? How much money do I have? Jeez. Five million? Don't care about your twelve thousand dollar fine. I can't wait for the next map DLC. My favorite so far, I think, is Idaho and Colorado. Oh, is that a secret road down this way? No, it's just a house. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. <laughs> Man, they need to add smoke to this game like Snow Runner. I can just see. John Ruda putting an option to delete the ECU, the, to delete the DAP system from this truck and just have black smoke pouring out. Oh my god, that would be so awesome. Those turbos pulling your ass, pulling, man. That, this is awesome. 
right-hand side. This road is very curvy. We're taking such a long trip, such a long detour. It's not even funny. Holding steady 80 FPS, even with all this grass and everything, and my settings are set to maximum. I'm running, I believe, at 400% scaling as well. So yeah, it's, uh, it's I'm actually impressed with the, how optimized this mod is. I need to pass the scars. Usually it's a shortcut. This is, looks like just a turnaround, which is kind of weird. But they will pop up on your map like this. It's like additional ro road and stuff, so that's kind of cool. So now it should stay. It should be showing up on the map. Yep, it's right here. Which, by the way, here's one of the locations in a uh, Colorado between Durango and uh, Montrose. I don't know how to pronounce it. It's right here between the curbs. There is a uh, little secret turnaround if anybody wants one. So let's let's do this. Let's keep on tracking. I always try to find them now, <clears throat> and, and because I found few of them when they were still not getting marked on the map. Because they've been in the game for a while, but they haven't been able to mark them on the map. And um, I forgot where they at. I know there's a huge one in Idaho that I drove like through a forest or something, but I can't find that anymore and stuff. And there's other locations that I definitely found roads like this, but yeah, I don't remember where they at now. I have no idea. Okay, good. Let's need to adjust sound one second. Okay, let's continue. Sorry about that, guys to adjust some sound because I this game it sounds so loud in my headphones but then you go to listen to gameplay and there's like barely any sound It's so easy to drive this truck. <laughs> 70 miles down this hill. Probably not the smartest idea. I 
another one of those roads? Let's see. Is it? No. Just a dead end. <laughs> well, I played myself. Oh, that's a... Uh, oh, friend, if you lose your brakes, I guess. Oh, well. Let's bust the U here really quick. That's a good thing we have a dodge. <laughs> Actually, I'm gonna start this, stop this episode at this place right here. And <laughs> we're gonna go. I have to go to uh, pick my kids up, so we're gonna park right here for now. Runaway vehicles only. Yep, I'm definitely runaway vehicle. Uh, gonna park right here, and thank you so much, guys, for watching. It's appreciate it. It helps. And uh, yeah, I'll uh, I'll definitely post the rest of this drive I, I, I mean we're here we, we almost to Durango and then we're gonna go through some roads I've never been through before discover some more viewpoints looks like it so we'll get there eventually it's a long drive and uh, yeah so that that's that and like I said I have his um, Fredliner trucks and I have his everything so I have his Fredliner classic right here the day cab if it's ever going to load come on yep right here that's John Rudas as well, and I have I have a lot of Peter builds. <laughs> Don't ask. I have this? I have Peter build. That is his 389 glider. I also have a. Um, oh my gosh! I forgot. I, I forgot whose truck this is. Uh, let me see whose truck is it. My goodness. Uh, so I I have some Z mods as well. And whose truck is it? I cannot remember for the life of me whose truck this is. But anyway, yeah. So, there's a lot of trucks to drive on. And um, this is from Steam Workshop. Really nice free mod. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. If you like the video, I would the uh, like and the sub would help a lot. And um, one more time, thank you. I'm trying to grow the channel. I'm just posting different stuff. Uh, Professor Gaming out. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.